We asked 50 kids to draw their dream robot. We'd pick a winner and make it a reality by building them their very own NHRL fighting robot. There were so many awesome ideas that it was really hard to choose, but I think we settled on one. And drum roll. Introducing Deadly Cute by eight-year-old Hope. It's a two-wheel drive biting shark head robot, and we will absolutely be able to use parts from our crash course kit to make this work. So let's get to designing. We're designing Deadly Cute, and luckily, a lot of the groundwork has already been done by Hope. So she knows she wants a shark themed robot, which I've lovingly recreated in this sketch. And we're just gonna figure out some of the details on making Deadly Cute work. Hope designed a wedge into the shark bot, which we are going to do out of TPU. So the whole frame and body will be TPU, which will give it some squish and take impacts well. We're gonna have our wheels center mounted and that'll give us the best traction overall. Uh, we need the head to pivot. So I'm thinking we use some carbon fiber tube as a pivot point. For the eyes, I'm thinking actual shark eyes. Oh, you know, we could probably get doll's eyes. And then we need teeth for sure. Those will be harder than TPU, so we're probably gonna print them at a PLA or PLA tough. Oh, the head has to open and close, so we need some way to link a servo to the the roof of the mouth, essentially. And I'm thinking a three bar mechanism, which will allow it to open and close, but we don't have to have the servo all the way slam back at the pivot point. That's it for the sketch. We know we want a lot of TPU, a little bit of PLA, a three bar mechanism, some doll eyes. So now I think we're ready to take this design into CAD. We've got my sketch. We've got a rough idea of the materials and mechanisms that we want to put into Deadly Cute. And now we just have to make it real in CAD. It's grouped. Why does it keep separating? I think I'm finished. Mostly because I don't want to work on it anymore, but also because it looks really good. And I'm a little worried about the plastic that's covering the components, but I think I did hope justice and I hope it makes her happy. If you want to make your own Deadly Cute, we've included the CAD and print files in the description below. But now I got to take this CAD to Josh, who's our 3D printing guru, and he's going to help us make it actually real. So our DreamBot has been selected. I did the CAD and I'm here with Josh, who's going to take a look at it and make sure everything's printable because I'm going to lean on him to help build the thing. <laughs> Oh. All right, here it is. Oh. It's deadly cute. It uses all Eric components. We've got the two cell battery. I made sure to do some channels for wiring. Awesome. But it goes to the Eric ESC, the Eric receiver, receiver. the Eric servo. The drivetrain just slots right in. Eric drivetrain too? Yep. Those but teeth might be a little rough to print there. They might be, but I think I designed it in a way that should make it easier. I also designed the head in two pieces. In two pieces. So, okay, so that simplifies my job a lot here. You you, you uh, really took I a tried, lot of my, I tried. You took a lot of uh, the hard work out of, out of there for me. So all I gotta do is just set them up to the printer and hit go. Okay, the CAD is done. It is approved from Josh, our resident printer, <laughs> and awesome. he's gonna get squirting all next week and we should be ready to fabricate really soon. Yes, sir. Hey, Josh, how'd the print go? They came out great. They came out great. I got just enough pieces here to get a little general idea of what we're working with. I'm really excited. It's looking great. There. The other teeth there. Look the it cash. looks exactly. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. It's exactly <laughs> like the I'm picture. so excited to get it fully together and get it driving around. Everything's printed. It's magically in front of me. It's time to build Deadly Cute. So beyond what's 3D printed, we're gonna be using a ton of parts from our Havoc Academy Crash Course Eric Kit. Pretty much like the guts of this robot are just Eric's guts in a shark. Let's do it. I need a tool.
a little BTS, they're rushing me so bad. But it doesn't matter, because like, when you're fighting robots in a tournament, they rush you as well. You got a flight coming up, you got repairs to make. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how long you think it should take. What matters is that you get it done in time. Okay, it's a, uh, it's um, it's deadly, and it's cute. All right, we got Deadly Cute's radio all tuned up. We're gonna test it all out, make sure everything's working as we had planned, and then we can call this thing a wrap. It's probably not going to win any matches anytime soon, but I think it's pretty safe to declare this robot the best shark-themed robot that NHRL has ever seen, ever. What did you just say? The best shark-themed robot ever? You, me, Mako, shark off! Well, apparently uh, Deadly Kit's not the only shark-themed robot in NHRL, so uh, now I have to fight Julian and Mako. Five, four, Three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh no! We still have to give this to the eight-year-old. Come on, I need an unstick. Tap out. The winner is Mako. Good match. Thank you for having me. Uh, it might not be deadly, but it is very cute, and it was a great fight. Don't worry. We've got a fully working Deadly Cute to give to Hope at the next NHRL event. And if you want to build your own Deadly Cute, I've included the print files and the CAD in the description below. Mm -hmm.